This is a punt. Rodney. Rodney air punt. The logo. We used to use them for our gun after the birds on the seals. To build this one, I would say two or three hundred hours. If you're fast, like me, 200, but, uh, but say 250 hours. But a little longer on this because I slowed down a lot. I started working when I was 14 and I had to keep up with the men, and that was tough. We never had a big lot to eat, and we never had much to wear. Now, clothing, Dr. Greenfield from Mary's Harbor had a clothing store. And we used to have to pick berries to go in there to get a shirt. If we wanted a shirt, no, they didn't. Nobody dealt with it. it was all trade then. No money. And the, and the food? Yeah, I, I, we, I drink molasses tea till I was eight years old. I never seen milk till I was, I was eight, seven or eight. And then if that can of milk was in the house, mom would take the can and she'd have the tea and everything in a big jug. And she'd pour a little, just to color it. And she butter our bread. She cut the bread a good inch, and she warmed the knife and just flicked, put it in the butter. You could see the mark. That's all. That's how. That's how. They had to do that. We never had to survive. I don't want to tell you this one, but I seen it. I saw my father bury people in there for bit. He got the TB. He couldn't work. Not many, but I seen it. I can show you graves. When he come to the house, he had his sealskin uh, pants, Parker, and his boots would be something like a fishing boot, you know, all up on yeah. oh, that. He looked like a giant with the clothes. Eh? Yeah, but he never passed a kid. He all, we were all small, and he shake hands with him. And he'd go out in the night uh, with his lantern to visit everybody. Everybody could visit, go and make sure. And sometimes there was a lot of people he couldn't help. He was too sick. You know, but he made sure he, he, he wouldn't leave the town before he see him. We didn't know anything about it, only what the older people tell us, this is going to be good for us. And a lot of people vote, didn't know what they voted for. But our clergymen used to go around and tell us, help us and our teachers, and they said, this is it, this is what's good for you. I was just old enough to vote for the, for the Confederation. I, was, I had to tell why to vote. <laughs> you had to be 21, and I was only 20. And when he was Martin X, was th at that time, but now they get his now, they know everything about you now. And the fellow was uh, from Mark X, he said, go ahead, Mark X. I would say in the middle 50s, you could see a few jobs coming out, you know, Bill Rawls and Fish Plants. You know. When your mother never had a nickel in the house, and you never had no milk. And when the baby bonus come in, that helped. First baby bonus, I can remember. In our family at that time, we only had two. I had two brothers, and they were giving me $5, $5 a, a month. And mom and dad was getting around $30 you know, a load of expenses. Uh, that was a godsend for us. When you got money and someone gave you a dollar, you know. Well, I'm, I'll always believe in the Confederate. I'll never. You know. <laughs>